All right, we're back to some sort of normality with the breeze here. We went back inside the harbour. Um, one thing I was saying to Connor there, it's a really sweet tactic upwind, is your last third of a beat um, is kind of different tactics to the first two thirds of your beat. Because the last third, you're either trying to make your way back into the, into the uh, windward mark or you're in the middle and you kind of see the last third of a beat as uh, a whole different race because if, let's say, like right now, it's an offshore breeze, the closer you get to the shore, the shiftier it's going to get. So for the first two thirds, you're going to be miles out. The shifts are going to be nice and gradual. Then that last third breeze gets super shifty and you need to, uh, well, you can take advantage of those shifts. So what I was saying to Connor there is, if he's sailing along and he sees the front of his sail break because there's such a big header that it's don't actually take the header, just tack immediately. You're like, it's almost like you're already like, 20, 30 degrees into a tack. So go for it and tack and get on to the lift on the new side immediately. So here's a bit of breeze here. All right, no, it hasn't shifted on him or anything, so he's just gone for the tack. But <clears throat> let's say you've got one, two, three, first, second, third, uh, coming up to the winner mark, you're all even. Um, if you are tacking on the headers, and that means like the minute a header comes and you know the wind's gonna be all over the place because the land is right there, you know, super shifty. Also, even a day like today, we've got we've got clear bits in the sky, we've got black clouds. So the wind is all over the gaff. The way you can take advantage of that is the minute you get a header, you tack immediately. You don't take the header, don't bear away and go, oh, I'll just keep the wind in my sail and get a bit of speed and then I'll go for the tack. Because all you do is you just literally tack straight away. Um, and you can make massive ground on the guys um, coming up to that winter mark if you try that tactic. So if you ever find yourself that it's an offshore breeze, you know that they're going to place the windward mark close to shore. The whole trick is that you come back in early so that you're pretty much setting yourself up for the last third of the beat, your downwind of that windward mark. And the reason for that is that you're going to tack loads on every header. You're going to throw in a tack and uh, make loads of ground on the guys um, that you're up against.